Hey there, uh, I wanted to cover today the, um, the Bitly tool, and it basically is a linked shortener. Um, I found this tool about a year ago, and it's been very helpful in a couple of ways, but let's just get right to it. Um, so let's just say that you find an article that you want to share with somebody, for example. Let's say you want to share this article from Forbes about Google's fourth quarter report. Well, instead of emailing this long tail um, URL, you can go to bit.ly.com and you can shorten this link. Uh, so you just paste it right in here, click shorten, um, and it shortens the link so you can email this easier, put it on Twitter without a bunch of characters, um, etc. Now, where it becomes really cool is that you can sign up for free um, and we'll, I'll just sign up with um, an account with them. Um, let's see, let's use Marco with Mario. And there's tools that you can use to actually track data to see if people are actually uh, clicking on the links that you're that you're trying to shorten. So it's kind of twofold. It's a it's it's a more friend, user friendly. Um, so. Uh, it knows which ones I tried, so no thanks, I don't want to import these. So let's take that same, let's just use one of my blogs for example. Um, so instead of me having to email this long trail here, I can copy this, um, I can paste this link in here. I can do two things. I can customize this link to basically call it whatever I want. So if I'm doing some kind of a presentation, um, maybe I want to customize and call it, uh, you know, health um, presentation. And that way when people click on it, they know exactly what's going on here. But I'm going to cancel that because just for um, the sake of, uh, you know, showing you, I just want to show you the, the value of, of shortening this link. So let's say that I, um, I email this, I'm just going to email this to myself, uh, link. And what's really neat about this is if you send this to a bunch of people, you want to kind of see what your conversion rate is. And so um, by me clicking on this link, um, if I can get my email to come through right away, that would be that would be great. Um, so let's get new mail. Um, I promise this will come through. Okay, there we go. So if you if someone clicks on the link. It takes you to the blog, obviously, but what's really neat is you can refresh this and go to stats. And now you have to where you can see how many times the link is clicked. So it's it's been uh, it's been clicked one time. You go to here to your home home screen. You can see one click. So if you send this to someone and they never click on it, then you know they never they never read it, and they never got the value, and you don't want to be a big brother and call them out on it, but it's sometimes it's just good to know that what you're sending out, uh, people are actually finding value and, and clicking on and reading or viewing a video, um, whatever the case may be. Again, don't abuse this as far as calling people out on if they read your article or not. Um, I think it's just a really neat tool to use to see if you send it to 20 people and you have, you know, 10 to 15 clicks, that's pretty good. If you send it to 20 people and you have, you know, zero to five clicks, then maybe your subject line was wrong or maybe it looks spammy and you might want to change some things. But again, uh, Bitly is a, a go-to tool for me to not only shorten really long um, URL links, um, but to kind of gauge and, and run reports to see, um, you know, what my conversion rate is of people actually reading the stuff that I send out. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, again, my name is Mario Wilson with Market with Mario. And um, if you like this video, if you found value in it, um, I'd appreciate your comments or a like. Uh, and if someone else you think could benefit from it, uh, I would appreciate if you shared it with, with them as well. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great one.